Bridgerton follows a pattern of one sibling per season, mirroring the book series. However, it remains uncertain whether the Netflix adaptation will keep the same marriages for the Bridgerton siblings as depicted in the books. The TV series is based on Julia Quinn's novels and was adapted by Shonda Rhimes for Netflix. The immense success of the first two seasons prompted Rhimes to collaborate with Quinn on a prequel centered around Bridgerton's Queen Charlotte titled Queen Charlotte, a Bridgerton story. Additionally, in a departure from the books, Bridgerton Season 3 will focus on Colin Bridgerton's love story with Penelope Featherington instead of Benedict. Bridgerton follows a pattern of giving each of the Bridgerton siblings their own season to explore their individual journeys in marriage. The show merges the Regency era with a diverse cast and weaves a fictional story within a historical context. In this era, women are expected to marry and adhere to social norms, while men carry the weight of household responsibilities at a young age. These challenges impact the marriages of the Bridgerton siblings, creating obstacles and trials along the way. While the show's depiction may differ from the books, the characters' journeys navigate the complexities of love, societal expectations, and personal growth. Let's take a look at all of the marriages that happen in Bridgerton. First of all, Daphne Bridgerton. The first book in the Bridgerton series, The Duke and I, centers around Daphne Bridgerton and her love story with Simon Bassett, the Duke of Hastings. In both the book and the Netflix series, Daphne and Simon engage in a pretend courtship to evade societal pressures to marry, only to develop genuine feelings for each other during this charade. While there are minor differences between the book and the series, such as Simon's avoidance of Daphne being omitted in the show, their forced marriage and tumultuous beginning remain consistent. The topic of having children also becomes a significant point of contention in both the Bridgerton books and the series. Next is Anthony Bridgerton. Anthony Bridgerton's storyline in the Netflix series Bridgerton closely aligns with Julia Quinn's books. In both the book The Viscount Who Loves Me and the series, Anthony grapples with a sphere of mortality and avoids falling in love. This theme is toned down in the show compared to the book. In both versions, Anthony initially pursues Edwina Sharma but ends up developing feelings for her sister, Kate, who, like him, has reservations about marriage. The journey of Kate and Anthony's relationship leading to their eventual marriage in the finale of Bridgerton Season 2 closely resembles the events in the books. The major deviations in the show occur in the subplots of the other Bridgerton siblings. Up next is Benedict Bridgerton. Benedict Bridgerton, the second oldest son of the Bridgerton family, takes the lead in the third book, An Offer from a Gentleman. However, the Netflix series deviates from the books as season 3 will focus on Colin, the third son instead of Benedict. In the show, Benedict's storyline revolves around his exploration of the arts and self-discovery without any significant romantic interests. In the book, Benedict marries Sophie Beckett, a character not yet introduced in the Netflix adaptation. Their love story follows a Cinderella-like narrative, with Benedict encountering Sophie at a ball. Despite his lack of love interest for Benedict in the series, the introduction of Sophie suggests that their eventual marriage may still be a possibility. Move on to Colin Bridgerton. In Bridgerton Season 3, the focus shifts to Colin Bridgerton and his marriage to Penelope Featherington, deviating from the timeline in the books where Colin's story is explored later. Despite this change, Season 3 appears to follow the general plot of Colin's book, Romancing Mr. Bridgerton. A significant challenge in Colin and Penelope's romance will be Penelope's secret identity as Lady Whistledown. Unlike in the books, the show reveals Lady Whistledown's true identity to the audience, and tensions arise between Penelope and Eloise. While Colin and Penelope may encounter additional obstacles in the series, their eventual marriage is expected to align with the events depicted in the books. Next, Eloise Bridgerton. Among the Bridgerton siblings, Eloise's storyline has undergone significant changes in the Netflix adaptation. Her character has become a central figure in both seasons, focusing on her pursuit of women's rights and equality. One notable alteration is Eloise's romantic involvement with Theo Sharp, a character exclusive to the show who works at Lady Whistledown's printing shop. In the books, Eloise's romantic journey unfolds differently. In To Sir Philip With Love, Eloise marries Sir Philip Crane following the death of his current wife Marina Thompson. Eloise's book storyline includes a time jump, leaving room for potential similarities between her narrative in Netflix's Bridgerton. However, the introduction of Theo and the emphasis on Eloise's activism introduce complications and deviations from her original book trajectory. Francesca Bridgerton Francesca Bridgerton, the youngest sibling, has yet to play a significant role in Netflix's Bridgerton due to her young age. 
Consequently, her future story remains uncertain. However, in the book, when he was wicked, Francesca experiences a unique journey, being the only Bridgerton sibling to marry twice. Initially, Francesca marries the Earl of Kilmartin, John Sterling, but their union is cut short by his tragic death. Stricken with grief, Francesca finds solace in the companionship of Michael Sterling, her late husband's cousin, and her best friend. Unbeknownst to her, Michael has concealed feelings for Francesca, which further complicates their relationship and adds guilt to their shared sorrow. Given the absence of any substantial indication to the contrary, it is likely that the series will delve into Francesca's tumultuous story, exploring the challenges she faces and the emotions she develops along the way. Hyacinth Bridgerton in Julia Quinn's seventh Bridgerton book, It's in His Kiss, the youngest Bridgerton daughter, Hyacinth, finds love with Gareth St. Clair, Lady Danbury's grandson. Their connection blossoms as Hyacinth assists Gareth in translating an ancestral diary written in Italian. However, in Netflix's Bridgerton, Hyacinth is portrayed as a child and has not yet experienced a romantic storyline. Nonetheless, given Lady Danbury's prominent role and popularity in the Netflix series, it is likely that the show would incorporate a relationship involving a member of her family. This is especially true considering that Lady Danbury's own backstory was explored in Queen Charlotte, A Bridgerton Story. Additionally, the strong bond between Lady Danbury and Hyacinth in the books suggests that the relationship may be further developed in the Netflix series. Lady Danbury's influence and guidance could play a significant role in shaping Hyacinth's future both romantically and personally. Overall, while Hyacinth's romantic journey has yet to be explored in the Netflix adaptation, the foundation has been laid for her character's development and the potential for captivating storylines in future seasons. And the last one is Gregory Bridgerton. Gregory Bridgerton, the youngest sibling in the Bridgerton family, has yet to experience his own love story in the Netflix adaptation. In the book On the Way to the Wedding, Gregory's journey unfolds as a friends to lovers romance similar to his brother Colin's storyline. Initially drawn to Hermione Watson, who harbors feelings for someone else, Gregory finds himself instantly smitten. With the help of Lucy Abernathy, who believes that they are a compatible pair, Gregory and Hermione embark on a courtship that eventually blossoms into love, leading to their marriage. Although Gregory's character in Netflix's Bridgerton has not been extensively explored, it's reasonable to assume that his marriage, like in the book, will form an essential part of his storyline. Given the show's track record of remaining faithful to the source material, it is likely that Gregory's journey to finding love and his eventual marriage will align with the events depicted in On the Way to the Wedding. However, further details regarding his character development and the specific dynamics of his relationship remain unknown at this time. That's all there is to know about the marriages and potential storylines of the Bridgerton siblings in the Netflix adaptation. We hope you found this video informative and enjoyable, and if you have any thoughts or opinions, we'd love to hear from you in the comments section below. To stay up to date with the latest news and reviews on future Bridgerton stories and seasons, make sure to subscribe to our channel. Don't forget to hit the bell button to receive notifications and never miss an update. Thank you for watching and we appreciate your effort. We look forward to bringing you more exciting content in the future. Until then, take care and stay tuned. Peace.